return. My next guest plays Dr. Luka Kovac on the number one drama in the country, ER. And starting tomorrow, he can be seen in the new movie, The Deep End. Please welcome Goran Vishnik. Now, first of all, I'm a... Uh, <laughs> Ladies, please, I have company now. <laughs> now, I'm so embarrassed to do that in front of you. Now, <laughs> I've had 40 minutes to see me. Now, uh, Goran, am I saying it correctly? Goran Vishnik. It's pretty close. Wh what's the actual way to say it? Uh, I would say Vishnik, but it should be Vishnich. like... Vishnik. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Goran Vishnik. That's good. That's okay. Good. Like Ivanishevich, Vishnitz. Okay. Yeah, that made it actually harder, what you just did. Yeah, it's <laughs> other guy, other Goran. I have a strange name. How would you say my name? Uh, with Croatian accent or without? You don't know who I am, do you? You're oh. stalling for time. Conan O'Brien? Yeah. Oh, that sounds cool when you yeah. say it. That's a lot cooler than when I say it. Uh, it must be... Now, obviously, you came out here, you got that reaction from the ladies, and... Uh, please. And I hear three fellas. Now, uh, what... <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Uh, you're always on People Magazine's sexy list. Is that something that makes you happy when you see that? You like it? No, I mean, yeah, you like it, but it's sort of like you, you know, you, you didn't work for that. It's like sort of like more of genetic, you know, what you got from your parents and stuff. Right, you know, right, it's like right. you, you prefer when you get like review, you know, like his performance was magnificent and stuff like that, you know. It doesn't right. happen often, but you know, it's better. So you don't, so you, th you feel like it objectifies you or something. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't like it either. I find it. It's... <laughs> I'm a guy, you know what I mean? I'm just a person. Could be, yeah. You know what I mean? Not a piece of meat, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I have a human... Could or it's never happened beard. to me. The beard, yeah. yeah, yeah maybe it's the beard. Sweet. I'll work on that. There are pills I can take. <laughs> now, you are Croatian. You yeah. grew up in the country. Uh, you watched TV. Did you ever see American TV when you were growing up, or did they not have it? No, we, we had a lot, unfortunately, you know. Unfortunately? What are you talking about? We have the Tell best him. TV in the world. No, Next, one of my... Wait, actually, Swedish TV is amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good one. I don't even want to get into that. You no, know, why I said unfortunately, it was actually uh, my, one of my favorite shows, Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. And good. Wow. And, uh... One person more than who, <laughs> than who knew Harry Dean Stanton. Yeah. <laughs> We're improving over time, slowly. We've got one person now out of a sampling of 210 who knows what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> Battlestar Galactica, I remember this was a big show when I was, when I was a kid. With, it, had, uh, it was an outer space show. And... Yeah, exactly, you know. But the problem with that show is it was my favorite show every Friday night at 8 p.m. And if I was a bad in school, my mother knew that's my favorite show. And she would say, no Galactica for tonight. Right. That's why I said, unfortunately, we had American television. Right, right. So you were denied that, sh that show if you no, were No, actually, I, was, I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I would go to the school and I would, like, try to make my marks better, you know, so my mother can go to school before Friday so I can right. actually watch Battlestar Galactica. That was right, amazing. right. Well, that's cool. Did you have the Battlestar Galactica lunchbox? That was pretty big in the day. No, no we didn't. We, we made one from those, like, small like, plastic models, you know. Oh, you made you made a lunchbox? That's probably not yeah. sanitary. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make a lunchbox. You made a model. Oh, you made a model. I thought, like, I fashioned a thermos. No. Like, no. <laughs> you can't do that. Did you, uh... Now, Nick, you, you like space? Do you like space now? Are you one of those people that, that, that wishes you could go into outer space? Yeah, like, if it's on a list, I would be first one on it, you know. I'm you not, would be one of those people that would, that would get up on the, on the shuttle or something if you definitely, could. Definitely. Really? Definitely, yeah. Actually, my wife bought me, like, a piece of property on Mars. You know, you can actually buy that. You know, you got topographical map, and it's like, ad, uh, what's, what's the word, longitude? Ad, you know, those, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, cross maps. And... I'll sell you some space on Mars if you want. <laughs> Yeah! I don't know who's my neighbor, uh, $50, though. $50,000, I'll give you the whole left side of the planet. It's all yours. I'll drop the papers right now. They really do that? You can buy? I mean, is you that claim actually, gonna yeah. hold up when you're fighting with a Martian creature? <laughs> this is my land. My wife bought it. Glurp, gleep. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's not gonna work. It's a cool idea, though. It's kind of a neat idea. Do you, and it, you actually get to see what your piece of property looks like. Yeah, you've got a piece of map, and, you know, even, like, if it's, like, clear in the sky, you can see, like, with your telescope. I mean, you can see, like, small red dots, you know, but it's, right, like, right. somewhere there is your property. You know? <laughs> right. It didn't cost me that much, yeah. Now, um, ER, 
is known for having the most realistic medical jargon on, uh, of any TV show. You watch that show and they're just saying these incredible, you know, five cc's of diahyadiodil, you know, and <laughs> they say these words. Do you have difficulty because English is not your first language? Do you have difficulty with those phrases? No, actually, those, those big medical words are sort of like, you know, easy to say, like, you know, those pericardiosynthesis, thoracotomitrase, all those cc's, you know, and stuff. They're that easy was good. To say. say that again. Let me hear the first. Say it a little, slow it down just a little bit. The, the, uh, the, the, I don't know which one. The, the first one, yeah. <laughs> And those are easy to say Pericardial. because they're like based in Latin, so they're a little bit different. You know, pericardiosynthesis? Yes, of course. It's like, you know, a big needle, you stick in the heart, measure like electric current on the right. heart and stuff. Yeah. But uh, uh, some, you know, simple um, English words are so complicated to say, you know, like, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I can't remember now any, but it's like... Uh, but like, you, you might have a, a hard time saying, I want to hail a cab, but a harder time saying that than you would pericardial, blah, 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 blah. I want to hail, you see the hail, 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 hail well, in this, in this cab. Taxi, taxi yeah. is better. Yeah, yeah. or just in this city, just hold up your middle finger and someone will... <laughs> Get over here, yeah. Um, now, would you be, if there was actually a medical emergency, would you, have you learned anything from the show in a real medical emergency? Could you save someone's life, do you think? You don't want me to be your doctor. No way. <laughs> actually, I have one of the biggest ratings of killing people on the show, you know. Oh, it's really? Like, yeah. Oh, your patients tend to die? Yeah, I don't know why, you know. No, while I said, you know, it's like when you come on a show for the first couple of years, your patients are dying, like, constantly. And then <laughs> you spend more, more time on the show, then they actually start surviving, you know, one right, by one, right. you know. So actually, in a year, you can save a couple of lives. That's a weird idea that when a new actor joins that show, they're like, all your patients die for the first year and a half. <laughs> it's and then like we'll that. see how you're doing, and then the writers will start having your patients live. Something like that. That yeah. is such a strange idea. Uh, the Deep End, anything we need to know about this movie? Uh, is it, you want to explain the plot? It's, uh, it's a uh, um, psychological thriller, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, I'm playing like uh, sort of a bad guy who is blackmailing the lady, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, I never knew how to tell a story. Do you remember last time you asked me to tell a joke? I couldn't do it. You know, it's same like plots of the film, but I can say it's an interesting movie. You know? Just say, <laughs> great movie, don't miss it. That's great all you have to do with don't this. miss it. <laughs> and then go like this. Do that. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. The Deep End, which I hear is a great movie, uh, opens tomorrow in New York and L.A., and it's expanding further next week, and, of course, you're on uh, ER. It's always good to have you here. Thanks yes. for doing the show. Thank you. Goran Vishnitz. We'll take a break. When we come back, The Word. We're going to perform. Come out here on the floor. Let's rock some more. Well, folks, that's our show for tonight. want to thank all our guests. Good night. See you tomorrow.